all in my bag You been all in my business uh, You be all in your feelings uh, I been all in them trenches uh, I been all in my bag uh, You be all in my business uh, Know they notice me flexing uh, Fit in all in my fitness uh, I been all in my bag You been all in my business uh, You be all in your feelings uh, I been all in them trenches uh, I been all in my bag Am I ready? Are you ready? Guys, so I've been trying to do this video for literally, I don't know, like 10 months? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we finally have the wheels. I've been kind of, I've been looking for these competition wheels for such a long time. We finally got a car in that came with these competition wheels and I'm just super stoked to slap those on the car. Not only because uh, my my wheels are actually currently bent, but because these will actually look like, a, I think the contrast, Johnson thinks, that the, the silver on the red is gonna look absolutely insane. I'm a huge black wheel guy. I love gloss black wheels. Matte black, eh, it's not bad, but I feel like gloss black looks absolutely amazing. You guys let me know down below. Should we actually re-powder coat these? Just check them out. These are competition, OEM competition wheels. Refinishing all of them in gloss black. I think it'll look super sick. Competition wheels on the E91 M3, because it'd be an E91 M3 competition. I don't know if you guys see them in the background. E91 M3 competition, CS baby. <laughs> We're gonna slap on so many badges in the back. In the United States. Uh, but I'm thinking about painting gloss black. Jonathan's thinking refinish them in the original color um, because he got a lot of curb rash on him. But let me know down below. Silver, gloss black. Going out over here, we got some other goodies that look absolutely amazing. So we got like some literally mint black door cards chilling right over here. This came out of the E90 M3 that we had that the previous owner, he took the whole interior out of it, but he left us some mint door cards. So I was literally waiting to get some mint door cards. I was gonna order some, but literally when we got one of our cars in the shop that had them, I was like, you know what? I'll just cop it from the business because you know, who else is gonna support their own business as much as me, you know what I'm saying? Next up, we have these beautiful CS seats. I'm gonna just jump around over here. These bad boys uh, costed me an arm and a leg, but uh, I got it for a quarter of what an arm and a leg should have been. I got a good deal. <laughs> That's what yeah. I tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> these She's bad boys are this. a price of a new project car, price of a new 335, not a new 335, but Cost more than that car right behind us, right over there. So don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm super stoked to throw these in. We did get some F80 Silverstones in it, but these seats already have the M3 badges that I don't actually have to retrofit. So those are already there. Not to mention these are competition seats, and not to mention the fact that these are CS competition seats. So we're just not going to talk about prices right now. So I'm absolutely happy to actually throw these in the car. Um, this rear bench theoretically should be able to just slap it in the car, and it should just fit. And then these ones, if this fits, just like OEM, these ones will be the only thing we have to get restitched to the the rear, you know, part of our car seats. Um, we'll see how that stuff works, and hopefully we'll do that in the near future. But as for now, if this bench fits in. I'm a happy guy. And right over here, just a few other little touches that's gonna be perfect for this car. We finally have some OEM M3 floor mats for this car. We got some spaces right over here that these were on the same car these competition wheels were on and the fitment was absolutely superb. So I'm super excited to throw those on. And last but not least, we got this bad boy. This bad boy, I've been looking. <laughs> I've been looking for this guy for literally as, as long as I started this E91 M3 project. For those of you guys who've been following the E91 M3 project build, um, the, sorry, it's absolutely filthy. It, it It is really what it is. Um, actually super happy. You know all these little gray pieces right here? I know, you got them. We got them all now. So, <laughs> so anywho, um, we have an E91 uh, part out that we're gonna be showing you guys here in a little bit. The only thing I stole from it is this guy right over here. Uh, this whole trunk has been reconverted to uh, the black. So originally it was all gray. I think the black looks a whole lot better. And once you clean it all up, it's gonna look absolutely insane. Um, so that's why I have like the major piece, but these little pieces, I don't actually have them in black just yet. And this right over here, I could not find a black one for my life. So we have the gray, but it just doesn't look right right over here. So yeah, this has been just long awaited. I am super excited to start slapping literally all of this in this one video and transform this E91 M3. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you guys one of our part apps we're gonna be doing here in the near future, which is uh, where I got the black version of this from. So Natty Auto Parts just picked up this piece of baloney. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it PG-13, but this is probably probably the same condition, if not a little bit worse than what we picked up my E91 328 as. Literally everything stacked off. I think, I don't know if it has a good engine or not. It runs and drives, but the engine does have a chick engine light, so we do have to diagnose that before actually parting this thing out. But the whole thing is plastic diff. Door is just absolutely clapped, which is the same exact door that mine's just clapped. Quarter panel's clapped, my quarter panel was clapped. So it's just funny to see how Every E91 that I'm copping from, you know, auctions or for myself at least, 
the cleft. So, anyways, Natty Auto Parts is gonna be selling parts on these beasts. So for those of you guys who are building an E91 and want to start an E91 M3 conversion, we got the rear bumper, which is what you're gonna need for half of it to actually convert the upper section. What do you think of these wheels, bro? They're actually not bad, to be honest. With you. They're not bad. Like they, not even the the logo looks pretty cool. I mean. For, for being cheap wheels, I don't want to say cheap, but like... I don't know what they are. I've never uh, seen them. Brand they just new? look good for the money. I think these are like brand new. The whole set's like a G. So... It's not bad. Not bad, bro. They look pretty good. Also, it has actually an M3 bumper, which is... It does have an M3 style front yeah, bumper, so... Not too shabby. Not, not too bad. shabby. But anyways, we're not going to be looking at the fake M3. We're going to be looking at the boost. Let's go ahead and start modifying it. Shabby, bro. It's looking good. My guy doesn't like it, I can tell. I don't know. I, the thing is, they're really beat up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're really, really beat up. Like, regardless, <laughs> they're gonna need repairs. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let me know. I'm a huge gloss black guy. Jonathan uh, saying, do you really dude, like it? I, thing is, once the whole thing is done and it needs to be driven, it needs to be moved because it's gonna lower more. Once it's lowered, I think it's gonna look really good. I mean, these are KW, so you can lower it if anything, but we'll see, we'll see. I mean, that's one down, three more to go. Not too shabby, bro. I don't know, I really dig it. Hold on, let me move back here. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you not dig it? It's hard because it looks good. The wheels themselves look good. I think it just needs to be lowered a little bit. You think that's what it is? <laughs> I don't know what it is, bro. They kind of—it doesn't look right. The bim is actually pretty freaking good with the spacers. That's a tough one. It's tough. I don't know. I mean, they definitely stand out a lot more. I just don't know how I like them on the red. I don't know. The red, yeah. Maybe it's the red that's tripping it up. I don't know. It's tough. Let us know down below, guys. Should I rock these competitions? And if so, I'm thinking about just redoing them in gloss black. I think gloss black would look pretty sick, actually. Yeah, gloss black, I think it'll look pretty good. And maybe get some Michelins, because look at these bad boys. Look at these Michelins. Am I making the wrong decision or what? I think just you saying that, I think you <laughs> should put these back on. <laughs> the thing is, I'm gonna be straight with you guys. These wheels need a lot of work. And for me, I'm not really trying to put in a lot more money uh, as of right now. Like all the money I'm putting into this car, I've been kind of like budgeting. You know getting the seats and i basically buy something for a good deal then sell my thing and then break even that's kind of what i've been doing the entire time on this build to kind of be on a budget that being said the front tires on these are kind of has like what's it called a little bit has some inner wear actually some some showing right there yeah, that needs new tires so actually. that needs new tires in the front there uh that's gonna be a hefty penny if i want to get michelin's probably at least six to seven hundred dollars just in tires uh, they are curved up. I don't like the color. I want them in gloss black. That's going to be probably another $800 in power coating. And then all of them, or three of them, um, have a little bend to them. They hold air just fine, and they drive perfectly fine until you're like 70 miles an hour. And then they, the car, you can start to feel a little bit of vibration because these are all slightly bent for some reason. So for me, man's on a budget. And uh, competition wheels, I think I think I messed with them. Actually, the more I look at it now. You like it more, or are you... I do like them, don't get me wrong, I do like them. It's just the Michelin tires are missing for me and the gloss black's missing for me. I do like the way they're sitting on the car right now in the concave. I think it looks really good, especially in the rear. Yeah, it's pretty nice. The rear is hitting more than the front for me right now. Yeah. Kind of goes with it. I mean, it does look pretty good. Like the car that. looks like a toy now. Kind of does. Doesn't it? I don't know, it's so hard. It, I like, I really love these wheels, I'm not gonna lie. Problem is, is like, I think it's the red on the silver. Maybe it doesn't go that well. So there's together. a lot of problems, my G. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on here. 
<laughs> thankfully, I didn't actually buy these. Because imagine I bought these for fifteen hundred bucks and slapped these. Fifteen hundred is like the cheapest you'll find a set like these. Imagine I bought that, slapped it on here, and I'm like, huh. I have two sets. I don't want. <laughs> no, actually, I think I right think, here it looks good. I think it'll grow on me. Yeah, I, th I think right, right here. There. Look right here. Like, look on the camera right here. Yeah, it looks. I mean, it the does car look looks good. more of a toy now. So, like, but I guess that's kind of cool, right? I guess so. You know, Jonathan, you're not making me comfortable when you're the one that suggested these to wheels well, in the first place. The thing is, I I thought it would look better. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. It looks good, <laughs> oh, but I thought it would be like, bro, these are mint. These look phenomenal. Thing is, it makes it look more stock. I'm not gonna lie. All right, guys, I'm gonna put on the other two anyways. One of them needs a tire, unfortunately, and I do think the front two are bent. So you guys will probably tell me, Norris, stop being cheap, bro, and just go buy new wheels, the color you want it, brand new tires. You guys know how much a brand new set of wheels and tires are? For either one of these sets, a brand new set, like these wheels, each one of these from BMW are $600 a piece because I bought one with my discount for $600 a piece. So this is like a $2,400 set. Not to mention the tires. I mean, these are like hand cooks. I think these are like, what, like 150, 200 a piece? Those are probably, those are probably like two, 250 a piece. Okay, let's say 200 to 800 dollars. This is like a $3,500 setup right here, guys. So that's a lot of money. So $3,500 compared to basically a G to 1200. I think it's, that's like a third, right? Yeah. Mm. We'll think about it. I'm gonna put the other wheels on. I'll look at it. I'll sit on it. I drink some Taco Bell soda. <laughs> Maybe some Chipotle actually. I'm gonna be honest, right here, it looks good. Right here it looks really good. I just I think it's because they're beat up. I really just think that might be the case. Put on the other ones. <laughs> so guys, we got the wheels on the car. Honestly, they're starting to grow on me already. Again, the silver takes a little bit of adjusting, but the car does look more of like a toy. It actually does stand out. You can actually tell the car actually has wheels on it compared to the other one. It just it just it just it was there. It was there for it to function. But this actually you can actually tell there's some curved up wheels. <laughs> Anywho, they look great, honestly, and I'm super happy that honestly, just need to get some new tires, probably gonna get them all resurfaced and potentially, again, painting them black, you guys let me know down below. Anywho, we have the seat right over here. This is the, the F80 seat that we actually end up putting uh, E92 module in here, repinned it uh, for it to work on uh, this car. And now we're actually upgrading to these bad boys, the CS competition seats, uh, that's gonna look absolutely amazing in this car. So that being said, I gotta go ahead and take a picture of all of this, transfer everything going on over here to these seats, transfer these back to stock on these seats and sell these bad boys. Um, so if any of you guys looking for some F80 seats to actually put into your e-chassis or just want some front F80 seats that are mint condition, make sure to hit us up. Uh, but yeah, time lapse some more because it's a lot of work. You guys see it finally. Something I forgot to also mention is the fact that we actually got tints. Finally got tints on this car. We had mismatched tints for the longest time and this car looks so much better with the tints. That being said, we got the wheels finally on there. We also have the front competition seats, but not only just the front competition seats, but also the rear from the F80. The F80 actually um, is a direct plug and play on this car. So we literally just need to get the back portion, which is the side that's, you know, towards the rear of the car. That needs to get redone. We have all the door cards in there looking beautiful as well. We got the logos working, all the functions working. We finally have a center armrest. Everything's just looking absolutely amazing. I cannot believe how it came out. We even got the floor mats in there, chilling like a villain. and. Uh, yeah, just look at the interior guys this is so mint i absolutely love that with the carbon leather i think this car is truly coming together let me know what you guys think the only other thing i can think of that we need to get done is the headliner so i don't know if you guys can see the headliner uh, but yeah it's the gray i actually did get it redone in alcantara originally i actually paid a guy got it done 
and it started sagging the next day, like within like a week or two. So the car, guys, is absolutely amazing. We still have the supercharger. We still have so much plans, like the paint and all this other stuff that still needs to get done on this car. Sorry for taking so long and spending so much time building this thing. It's just, it's a money pit. It's a money pit. It, I love it, but at the same time, it's gonna be a lot of money to make this thing perfect. Just bear with me. Hopefully, once we get more cars in, I'll be able to actually start modifying this more and more and more, and hopefully, paint job, hopefully, wheel perfection, hopefully supercharger, rod bearings, a couple of, oh, well, this car is a never ending project. Well, this I'm goes on. This just goes on. So <laughs> anyways, hopefully more mods to come, but today was a jam packed video. Let me know what you guys think of the transformation on this car. Do you guys think the CS seats fit this car or uh, did I go a little, uh, a little hand there. I think it looks perfect, doesn't it? It looks really good. Especially the black door cards just works. It works, so it does. So the CS seats on a normal F80 CS, they actually have just black door cards. So the fact that I have black door cards, just it's just perfect. We got black door cards, CS interior, um, everything's matching. I don't know, I'm just very happy how everything has come. So if you guys think it looks pretty awesome, make sure to smash that like button. That's gonna actually have to conclude this video. Hopefully you guys saw the E91 with a few other part outs that we need to get done here. And also we have a very special M build that I cannot wait to introduce to you guys. But without further ado guys, gonna have to conclude the video. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.